Good evening and welcome to Wungaro FC TV for another edition of our one-on-ones. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying it and getting entertained. So tonight we speak with uh, Ryan Tanti. Ryan is our women's under 16A coach. Uh, Ryan's been with us now for four years. He's taken the girls for two years last year and this year. Um, assistant coach for the previous two years so um, and he's done a pretty he's done a pretty good job and and far as I gather he, he enjoys it quite well so we'll um, bring Ryan on board now he should be out to uh, you there Ryan hey Kev I'm here mate how you doing yeah I'm good mate yourself oh great thanks thank you very much doing well how you yeah. going you going all right yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, ha I'm hanging in there, mate. Hanging in there. Hanging like, in there. Just like everyone else, day That's by day, it, mate. you know, That's hour by hour. So, That's the way. Nah. and I think it's just things like this that can sort of break the boredom and, oh. and sort of, you know, sort of connect to each other a little bit. And, you know, because it, yeah. it is, it is a very disconnected world at the moment. And we try and do the, the best we can, I suppose. So, um, sure, it sure it's, is, mate. Yeah, it's good. So, You've uh, been with us for a few years now, Ryan, four years, um, enjoying have. a bit of football. Loving my football, mate. Loved it too. I played the game since I was five. Um, played the game for about 20-odd years. Um, my career came to an end for, through injury, um, but then took up, been coaching since I was 13, on and off. Um, just, I just, yeah, my life was football, or is football. You know what I mean? I just love it. I love the game. and I love being able to impart some wisdom and, um, yeah, just love it. Yeah, it's not hard to uh, it's not hard to live and breathe football. That's for sure. So, no. Um, no. Yeah, it gets out there. We get to see different people and and, and mingle around and all that. That's it. Yeah, people we, that you people you meet along the way too. You know the friendships that you make along the way. You know it's just that's that's the best part about it. I love about it. Yeah, yeah, for for sure. It's a uh, it's a very community orientated sport that you know gets a lot of people together and. It's the world game, I suppose, and we, you know, yeah. we we all get together and we we all do what we can, and sometimes sport will bring us together, which is fantastic. So, so we've had uh, your girls. How how are they going? You keep been keeping in contact with them at all, or we have been keeping in contact. We actually just started doing Zoom meetings last last week. Um, we've decided to keep keep going with that um, because in the start we weren't sort of sure what was going on, um, so we just. And I had a lot of things TAFE wise going on as well, and uh, just excuses. But um, yeah, we've uh, uh, recently made contact last week, and we've decided to keep doing the these Zoom meetings. It's great just for the girls to be able to just see each other again. You know, I mean, they've all been in isolation and uh, not been able to get in contact with each other, and it was just good to see all the faces on the on the computer the other night. Which uh, we all had a good laugh and a good catch up, so it was good fun. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It's Zoom is sort of um, it's the next face to face, isn't it? You know, we, it is. We, we, it we really can't is. we we can't be with people, but we can certainly see them, and and our emotions are completely different when you see people compared to you talk to them on the phone. So no, that's fantastic. Right. So you got, hey, look you got at that I, connection over the phone, but it's more it's more that face to face sort of thing when when with this Zoom sort of thing. It's just yeah, it's a real great invention, actually. Yeah. So, the, and the girls have gone pretty well over the last few years. Um, they have. And last year, they're quite successful. Uh, and, well, and the year before that as well, uh, when Christy there had them as a coach. So, yep. but they, they've had their um, fair share of um, winning and glory. They sure have. They really have. And I've, as I said to them every year, you know, just last year was last year, and we've got to earn it again this year. You know, you can't just ride the coattails from the previous year and, to, to their credit, they really, they turn up to training and they turn up to the games. And um, as far as I'm concerned, they're one of the most dominant teams in uh, the competition uh, each year because they just keep turning up and they play for each other. And uh, yeah, they've had a lot of success in the last few years. So I'm very proud of them actually. Yeah, uh, no, it's good. And I think they were, um, they were on the peak of, of doing some of, the, you know, especially against this year, but um, obviously the, the, the the big bad, big bad uh, Corona, COVID word, you know, put his head up and sort of stopped a lot of stuff happening. So, 
um, the girls, you know, you know, new strips as well, and you know, and sponsored and everything else there. You know, and a big shout out to DMC there, who who's our first major sponsor uh, come on board this year for the first time. So, you know, we yeah, we haven't really just... got we haven't really got to, to send those those new jerseys out of the girls because they are slightly different design to the boys that we've seen. Yeah. Oh, the girls love them. I have shown them, and they absolutely love them. They can't wait to to put them on and get out there and have a have a crack with them. So, yeah, yeah, no, that that that's good. So, obviously, yeah, you know, we we know there's a few dates that we'll we'll probably look at starting. Um, and I think it will be just, you know, sometime in June. I I would think at this stage. Great. A, a, anything anything can happen, mind you. So. <laughs> Uh, it's, it, it's, yeah. it's still it's still in the air, but there's some dates being banded around between the clubs and and the association. So hopefully we can kick something off in in June sometime, which which would be fantastic for the girls Fingers and everyone crossed. involved. Yeah, everyone. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, you've also uh, got a bit of uh, live feeding happening yourself with uh, Let's Talk It Out with Ryan. I do, I do. I actually started that about uh, about six weeks ago now. Um, just sitting around at home, thinking, you know, what can I do to help people? And I, I knew that a lot of people were struggling, especially a lot of my friends were struggling, and not only my friends, but a lot of other people. And I just thought, you know, what is there? There has to be something that I can do. And um, I just got a suggestion from one of my friends: Why don't you start a live feed and get on there and talk, and you know, have people comment and. You know, it'll just start from there, and it sort of has. It just I honestly didn't think it would make it past the first week. Um, I thought I'd just get on and talk to myself, and no one would actually be watching. But um, from the weeks following, I've just been getting phone call after phone call saying, thank you so much for what you're doing, for putting yourself out there, and it's so raw. I haven't seen anyone do something like you're doing, and um, that's sort of given me the confidence to keep going, and it's just been building and building each week. So it's um, I'm really proud of it, actually. Yeah, so, so what's it all about, Ryan? Get, give us a bit of a rundown, you know, what do you do and what do you speak about? You know, do you have guests or not guests or just so everyone well, else that's joined us that can have a look and, and maybe jump on onto Facebook? Well, look, the whole point of it, Kev, was to was to start a conversation. I've, I deal with mental uh, health issues myself um, and I know a lot of other people do and there's a stigma around it in society today. Um, you know, and if, if you've got, if anyone knows that you have a mental health issue you're sort of shunned to the side and oh, don't don't talk to them but we need to sort of start breaking down that stigma um mental health issues aren't the be all and end all of who a person is it's just a just a fraction of who they actually are um and just to be able to i started it to just get get the conversation started between people and make people believe that it's actually okay to talk about these sorts of things to talk about mental health and to talk about you know that i'm struggling or i need some help you know, there's a, there's a stigma out there, especially for men, that, you know, you don't talk about your problems, you keep them inside. And, I mean, that's just so, you know, such a long time ago. We don't, we, you know, mental health has come a long way in the last 20 years. Um, and especially in the last five years, it's even made even more uh, leaps and bounds. So I'm, you know, I'm just trying to do my part and just sort of get the word out there that there's, you know, it's okay to not be okay um, and to talk about it. You know, that's, that's the only way that we get through tough times like this is to not not sit there within ourselves and struggle and think oh, i know everything will be okay everything will be okay because you're sort of you're digging a deeper hole for yourself by doing that yeah. um, by reaching out and asking for help that's that's how we that's how we progress and that's how we move on with our life and how, that's how we take back control of our life uh, anxiety especially at the moment with covid going on there's so much anxiety and so much fear out there in, in society that you know people just don't know what's going on and the loss of jobs and things like that loss of livelihoods it's just leaving people with no answers and um the anxiety is building you can sort of feel it in the air the tension in the air and you know it's just we need to sort of have more forums where we can actually talk about it there is so much help out there and i just don't think i don't think it's it's known enough as much as mental health has come leaps and bounds there's still not enough awareness for the amount of help that's actually out there so again, that's another reason why I started doing my Friday night live chats. Um, just to sort of, I mean, I always start with all the, all the important phone numbers like Lifeline and, um, you know, Kids Helpline and domestic, uh, the 1-800 respect numbers, all those sorts of things. Being that we're all 
on top of each other at home at the moment. Domestic violence is going to, you know, is on the rise. Um, people losing their jobs and losing their livelihoods, unfortunately, leads to suicide. And we already have a high enough suicide rate in this country. We don't need any more. Um, so, yeah, with it's just about promoting awareness, really, and giving the people the opportunity to come on and talk. I've actually just started last week having guests on, and I'm going to continue that now. Um, the first few weeks was just me talking about um, the different types of mental health and how they can affect you. And, uh, and then I constantly have people commenting through, and then it sort of then I talk about whatever they they want me to talk about and things like that. It's just, again, it's just about getting the conversation started, getting people feeling comfortable talking about mental health because it's nothing to be ashamed of having mental health at all. Um, you know, a lot of people do struggle with it and that's, I'm just trying to help them. I mean, I've had a lot of help in my, in my past of being able to get to where I am today dealing with my mental health. And I just feel as though it's someone like my duty to help others get over their battles and, you know, and help them fight, get their life back on track. Yeah. Yeah. Look, we, uh, as you've been talking, there's, there's a, uh, all there, the help has been scrolling across the screen and, and just down below me here, you'll see the, you know, all the numbers of some, are not all the numbers, but most of the ones that, that Ryan deals with, uh, down there, there's numbers on websites below. So it's plenty there. Look, we get through this sort of stuff, Ryan, by, by being together. You know what I mean? We, we've got to stick together. We've got to, you know, help our mate out and, and help out. So I think it's a fantastic thing. You know, what you do, you know, people will jump Thanks, on and, and, and watch and people won't jump on and watch and and all that, which is each to their own. But, you know, if, right. if you if you can help one person out and, you know, that and, was, and, and get, was, and get them to my, the end of this, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. That's what I was thinking. You know, if, I, if, this, if this leads to me just helping one person, then it was all worth it. It was all worth letting myself be raw and uh, put, putting my own story out there. And if it could help one person, then it was all worth it. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm very fortunate that it's helped a lot more than one. Um, and I'm, so I am going to continue to do it. And if I encourage anyone to out there that if you are struggling, uh, look at those numbers below. Um, if you'd like to join me on a Friday night, my page is Let's Talk It Out with Ryan. It's on Facebook. Um, go and follow it. Um, then you can watch, watch me every Friday night. You can be involved. You don't have to be involved. You can just watch... Um, watch the feed and you know watch the other comments that come on because that's a huge part of it too it's not just you know this ugly mug on there talking it's about watching the comments come up and how people they're letting me know how they deal with things and which in turn lets everyone else who's watching they can see how everyone else deals with things so it's just it's like a we're building a like a my point of it was building trying to build a little village online here and like a little community so it was um that's the whole point of it too yeah and just that being able to it's just that stigma around it you know what i mean there's so many people that just you know turn their nose down to it and you know they they just don't want any part any part of it which is not a good it's not good help for anyone so um we just need to get it out there a bit more and again if you are struggling please there are so many places that you can go so many people willing to help you um they're just there you've just got to put your hand out and they'll, they'll reach you and they'll pull you back up so yeah look at uh, yeah I, I know a few people in the emergency service and you know, if they yeah. can save one life a day, um, it, so it, it's, it, it's a great day. You know what I mean? It so, is. It's a great day. Yep. No, mate, it, um, head off to what you're doing, mate. I, I hope it all um, it all goes well. And, you know, and I hope you get, you know, a lot of people on there. And, you know, so Appreciate anyone, it, anyone it, that's not doing, you know, get onto to Ryan's Facebook, like his page. This is it. You only really maybe get on there for five minutes or ten minutes. You haven't got to be on there for the for the hour or the couple of hours that matter. he's on there for. Yeah, I do tend to jabber on a bit, but um, you know, again, just come for two minutes, five minutes, the whole time, as, as long as you're getting there, sort of learning something or you know hearing something or seeing something that you know might trigger something in your brain to think, you know, yeah, I do know someone who's struggling. Maybe I will reach out. So that's that's the whole point of it. So yeah, no, no, fantastic, mate. Well. Look, Ryan, I hope everything goes well. Hopefully, we should see you in the next four weeks or so. Hopefully, we can get a bit Fingers of football, crossed, mate. Get, we get a bit of football playing and oh, and all that. So. so, get on the park. So. Hey, the, the Oval's looking supreme. So uh, I know. Drive past every couple of days and just think, oh, God, I wish we could be out there training on it. But, yeah, no, it looks great. It looks fantastic. So, I can't wait to get out there, mate. It's heartbreaking that we, we can't get out there. So, it is. It is. No, definitely. Well, mate, well. 
thanks for coming on, Ryan. Thanks for you know a bit of a chat about football, and we had a little bit of a chat, you know, about what you're doing. And as I said, mate, add off to you, doing a great job. Hope things are, uh, you know, you get a lot of viewers and 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 you uh, and you help people. That's fantastic, mate. Thanks for your time tonight, Ryan. I appreciate it, Ken. Thanks very much for having me on and giving me the opportunity to talk about it, mate. Really, thank you. Hats off to you too. Thank, thank you very much for what you're doing. This is a great, great initiative too. So, no, good on you, Wagara. Awesome. Not, not a problem. Uh, n- next week, uh, we got Cameron Milne on. Cameron is one of our BPL squad players. He's also a coach of our under 14s, 14 A's, and also he's taken a roll up this year, which hasn't sort of taken off because of what we know about uh, as a coaching director. So he's out there and going to, hopefully when the season starts, he'll get out there and help some of these coaches, the newer coaches, you know, anyone that wants a hand in in, in anything regarding coaching, will get him on. So uh, it'll be fantastic. Once again, everyone, thanks for your time tonight. We will have another one next Tuesday. So... Good luck, stay safe everybody and have a great week and we'll see you again next Tuesday. Thanks for your time.